Something you have to keep in mind when you talk about any game that could come to the Switch is that the value of the port goes up. It doesn't even matter what the game is. If it's coming to the Switch, its value goes up simply because of the Switch's concept. Because the Switch is a portable home console, anything that comes to it all of a sudden has more value than another port. So let's say, you know, so I'm going to use Skyrim as an example. If you had the choice between, let's just say, Skyrim on the Xbox One or PS4, and this would be, of course, the remastered edition, it would have all these features, but would you choose that, or would you choose Portable Skyrim? In my opinion, I'd choose Portable Skyrim, I know a lot of people would too, just because its value goes up because it's portable. And that's something you have to keep in mind with every single game that comes to Switch. And Valve games are no exception. So, I, if you've been watching my channel for a very long time, then you have probably noticed that I have made some videos on Valve before and Valve games coming to the Switch. And I actually made an entire video talking about Half-Life coming to the Switch. So if you want to see that, the video is not incredibly well edited and it was kind of made about a year ago. So the video is not at that good, but if you do want to see that video, I'll link that in the description. But today, I just wanted to talk as a fan of these IPs and to talk about why I would like to see them on the Switch. And I want to talk about the games I want to see. The, the, the chances of it happening, of course, which might be a bit small, and also the rumors, leaks, and other information saying if it is happening. So, let's start off with the games that I want to see. So, obviously, every Valve game could benefit on being the Switch, but there are really two that I really, or not two, I guess three, that I feel like would benefit the most on the Switch, and the first one, in my opinion, is Portal. Now, Portal is a series that I do own, however, I haven't played a whole lot of. The most I've played of a Portal is actually online multiplayer with some friends, and I find that a lot, a lot of fun. And I think that if you are going to play a multiplayer game and you have Steam, I think one of the best games you should get if you do, if someone else has it too, would be Portal. I does have a very good single player campaign. I actually really like, especially the beginning of the second, the second Portal games uh, campaign, but. Portal 2 and the original Portal's multiplayer, especially Portal 2 though, is just phenomenal. However, just having a blast with your friends, killing them in, with portals, it's so much fun on co-op. And that's why I feel like it would work really well on the Switch, because of two reasons. First off, if someone else owns a Switch, you'll be able to play with them wherever you are, as long as you are tethered to an internet connection. That is very important with anything that is online is that you cannot, it's not fully portable because you do need internet. However, still being in our room in the house, maybe just sitting in, like on a bed, and just playing Portal online, or maybe even just a single player, I think would be really fun. And you can be as comfortable as you want, you can be literally wherever you want, at any place that you feel like you would benefit the most from being in. That's one of the benefits with any Nintendo Switch game, but I feel like Portal 2 would also really benefit from that. However, the other reason of why I think Portal would work really well, at least in the co-op department on Switch, is actually tabletop mode. So if you don't know what tabletop mode is, basically what you do is you take the Nintendo Switch and you, you pull out the kickstand and you just put it out there and you take off the Joy-Cons and you can either play like that or you can hand a Joy-Con to a friend and you can do co-op like that and each controller, each Joy-Con becomes its own controller. That would be amazing for split screen co-op especially in portal knowing just how much fun normal online uh, co-op is in portal i think that split screen multiplayer would also be really fun and just being able to go to anyone's house and just play like that that just i'm just thinking about it is just getting me excited just imagining how much fun that would be to just go anywhere just be anywhere and just play co-op like that of course they that it could not have co-op single player maybe the joy cons just can't do it just single joy con but if it if it does that would be amazing to see and our game that's under valve's ip belt that i want to see on the switch is left for dead so left for dead is one of the more iconic you know i think the three really iconic valve franchises are half-life which could definitely come to switch but half-life single player i feel like is not i haven't really played too much of the half-life series i do own it but I think that Left 4 Dead and Portal are the two ones that I really would like to see on the Switch. Left 4 Dead's gameplay has always been really fun to me. Ever since I first got it, I've always liked how it played. And I think that on the Switch, just being able to, of course, like all games, being able to play it in portable mode would be great. However, I feel like I would play this one mostly in docked mode. Just because I think that I 
I don't know. I just I feel like I would rather, although portable mode would be nice. I think that for me personally, I think I would just prefer the experience in docked mode and just being able to play it on like a 60 inch TV. However, something you do have to keep in mind is with all shooters is that when you actually do get a game that's a shooter like this, it's usually, for most people agree, that usually it's better on PC because of the keyboard and mouse setup. So, in portable mode and in docked mode, the controls will probably need to be optimized for it to actually feel good and to play nicely because if their controls are bad, then the experience is just completely broken. And the final game that I feel like would benefit the most for being on Switch would be Counter-Strike, and more specifically, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This is a game that, once again, I do own, however, I haven't played too much of, mainly just because I've never really been, I don't know, I've just never really, I guess, wanted to play it that much, but I feel like on the Switch, it would be a, more of a value, of course, because I would have more time to play it, because I'd be able to play it wherever I want. Of course, CSGO is mostly online, so you would have to be tethered to an internet connection however not having to be tethered to a computer or a steam link or something like that i feel like would benefit the counter counter strike global offensive a lot csgo is one of those games that of course benefits from a keyboard and mouse though so the controls would have to be optimized as for other games such as half-life like i said i already made a whole video on that so if you want to see a video where i talk about half-life running on this nintendo switch and all that i'll have that linked in the description this is kind of off topic but i feel like i should mention this that video, the Half-Life Evil video I just checked that I made, is actually, like, as I'm recording this August 7th, is actually now one year old exactly, which, that seems like an unbelievable coincidence for me to be, I didn't even know that, just to be talking about, I guess, Valve games, exactly one year after I made my Half-Life video, which, that, that just blew my mind, but that's off topic. Of course, Valve does own, but anyways, Valve does own a lot of other series, like, I, don't know if anyone still cares about this, but Day of Defeat and stuff like that, which I actually do own, but I can't play because nobody else plays it. But like games like that, Valve does own, but the more of the smaller stuff, I feel like Valve wouldn't really want to port to Switch just because they don't probably don't really care too much about it anymore, and that's understandable. But what are the rumors, leaks, and information about Valve making games on the Switch? Well, Valve is a confirmed Switch publisher, which that is good when any company is a confirmed switch publisher it definitely makes you consider them porting their games to the switch or even developing specific games for the switch which, which actually could happen because valve is interested in the switch so valve even said gabe newell he said that valve is trying to study nintendo's approach to hardware and software and he even said that they're kind of jealous of how they operate with hardware and software what that tells us is that Valve is interested in the Switch and they are actively talking with Nintendo. As Well, they didn't say they were actively talking with Nintendo, but they are actively interested in the Switch. And they may get in talks with Nintendo soon about putting their games on the Switch. Honorable mention, back in December of 2017, IGN actually made a video stating that Portal is definitively coming to Switch in the title. However, they clickbaited it. I just feel like I should mention that. And there wasn't really much truth behind that video. However, Valve is a confirmed publisher, and they have said countless times that they are interested in Nintendo's approach with the Switch uh, with hardware and software. As for rumors and leaks, there isn't really much. Not ha much has been said. Nothing's coming out of Valve recently, and that is that's I, that's not necessarily bad because it definitely could still happen, or maybe Valve is just being incredibly quiet about it. But the most likely thing is that Valve is really just focusing on our things right now, and although they probably are interested on in making their games for the Switch, they're probably just giving it time and just waiting until they think the moment is right. Because I do think eventually, probably later in the Switch's life cycle, Valve would probably want to put it their games on the Switch. But as of right now, they may just not be interested. They did say that they are they were interested in the past, but maybe they just aren't interested anymore. There is a chance that we could see nothing at all, and that is kind of sad because the likeliness of this happening in general is not incredibly high. It is still plausible, but it's not, like, really plausible. But anyways, those are just my opinions, and if you have your own thoughts, please let me know them in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe or like it, but that's totally up to you. I'm never going to force you to do anything on this channel. 
And again, I hope you enjoy this video and see you.